it's been a week <laughs> since I changed what I was doing on my channel. Well, I wouldn't say changed. It's more that I neat and tidied up my act and started organising what I produce and when on the channel. So hopefully you're liking it. Um, I will say that in the live for the drawing for the thousand subscriber giveaway. Pardon me. In the live drawing for the subscriber giveaway. Um, everybody that was there, <laughs> not many people, those that, but those that attended their live, um, I got a good feedback from them. So you, you gems are happy that I've added the stuff to the channel, which is really cool. Um, you know, I enjoy sharing it with you. And uh, on that note, for the thousand subscriber giveaway, congratulations, Fee from Oz. Um, I find that I found it so funny when I read read who it was. It was like what? <laughs> it's always good when a fee wins. But um, a fee from Oz um, discovered that fee actually lives only about a fifteen minute drive, ten to fifteen minute drive drive away. And um, I only discovered that in a live with Heifer talking that's how we discovered that Fee is uh, where, where Fee lives well but how close she lives anyway um, so I will say Fee congratulations um, still yet to hear from you at the point of this video being recorded for Chatterday Saturday uh, but it is Friday so this is I'm recording this on Friday so it will be up and ready to see on Saturday um, yeah, so congratulations, Fee. Um, as soon as I get details, I will get that ordered and we'll go from there. So that's on that very fantastic note. So what I'm going to do, I'm still working out the layout for doing the chatter days. I, um, previously what I used to do with, with my short whip and chats is, you know, I'd talk through comments and I'd heart them and then I'd cop write a comment on them later. Um, I hearted them to say that yep, I'd seen it and then I'd comment later, you know, so that you guys, you gems, knew that I'd actually spoken about it. Um, but I was looking at all the comments the other day and it's like I can't not, I can't leave these without being responded to. It's just too long, too long. So I've got to and responded to a lot of people. So, um, yeah, some of the comments, uh, I, I will say, I got not one single negative comment, which is fantastic. So for, for what has I've put out there for people to view, I haven't had a single comment that is negative. I will say, Two of my videos have gone gangbusters, so I don't know what happened there. Um, new ones to my channel, so eh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, what I'll do, I'll do a bit of chat uh, about what I've done and what's going on in the personal life. I might share the personal life first because the personal life... Um, I ended up in a situation that was not good. Um, situation I was actually quite angry about. Um, and it happened the week before, but um, it really hit hard when I went back to work. So, yeah. Um, I tell you with what what happened um, because I turned around and put my foot down and said well yeah let's just say it's because of something because of what happened I turned around and said well I'm not training anybody anymore because if I keep training somebody I'm not going to get the ability to be in a position where I was considered 
where, where they wanted me to, tr when I was ready to be trained. So um, I turned around and said, well, don't, I'm not training anybody anymore because that is actually what's gone against me is the fact that I've been able to train people and because I'm training them, I'm not able to get myself further ahead. So I turned around and went, no, I'm not training anybody anymore. A um, few other things, and then which caused an issue with rostering because they had to rework, well, not the roster, but the meal plan. So where, what sections you work during the day and who did meal breaks and who was on training and that. And yeah, they had to rework things. Um, yeah, it was quite interesting, quite interesting. Um, but our new supervisor arrived on Monday. I've been introduced to him. So he's done four shifts. We've been introduced to him and that's about it. Uh, he currently is having to go through all electronic induction. So all this stuff that he has to do before he can do anything. Um, so, you know, it's not like if he had been employed from within the company, most of that would have been done and he would have been, you know, so much further ahead. But so, yeah, basically our team has met him and spoken to him once and that was just the initial introduction. So we'll see what happens there when he finally arrives. Well, no, I shouldn't say arrives. When he finally uh, is in the capacity of supervisor. Um, yeah. What else? So work is quite interesting. I was very fortunate. The last shift that we just did, I got the early knock, which means I actually finished actual working on the train control board about well, half past four this morning. I didn't get to leave until half past, well, quarter to six, but um, leaving at quarter to six is about an hour earlier than everybody else leaving, so uh, the, that's what the early knock means. <laughs> uh, don't have to wait there and do handover or any of that stuff, so it's really nice, especially on the last on the last block and especially you know like when I found out that I was getting that last uh, the, the early knock uh, the last early knock it's confusing to actually how you say it um I'll turn around and say oh that's good because I'm going live at half past seven so that gives me a chance to get myself together before I go live <laughs> and the supervisor's gone you're not going to bed <laughs> And I went, no, well, I don't normally go to bed when I finish, um, when I do my, after I've completed my last shift, my process is normally to come home, I strip the bed, I do the floors, I put fresh sheets on the bed, I have a shower and then I go to bed. And that's generally about 10 o'clock in the morning that I climb into bed. But in doing that, I go to bed in fresh, you know, like I have a shower and go to bed in fresh sheets and I wake up to a clean house because there's nobody at home to mess it up, most cases. Um, but this morning, because I did live, I didn't do any of that. Um, and Nathan actually didn't start work till later than normal, so he didn't leave the house till about 8.30 I think. He was still in bed when I did the live draw. So yeah, I couldn't have even stripped the bed because he was still in it anyway. So hmm. Um, so like I've got fresh sheets on the bed and I've had my sleep now but my floors are not done. So uh, that's, that's when I have to try and work out when I'm going to do that. Probably tomorrow morning. Uh, okay, so that's that's more on the it's a bit more on the personal side. My oh, my grandbaby is getting bigger. <laughs> I've got some more cute pictures of of him. It's really gorgeous to see. Um, my 
dad and his wife. Um, his wife sews. So she does a lot of craft stuff. Um, and she made my grandson a teddy bear and a blanket. And the blanket actually had um, <clears throat> embroidered on it and had, excuse me, had, um, I think it was ducks on it. Um, but she also personalised it with his name. So, you know, it's not something that as if, yeah. And I think they were really, really, really happy, really impressed with it because... I'd say it arrived and they've done the photos and sent pictures of, they've sent me pictures of just the blanket or the quilt and the teddy bear and then they've given me two where he's actually on it with the teddy bear. This teddy bear is as big as he is. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, let's see, hang on. So there we go. So that's where she made the teddy bear and the, she did the blanket and that's actually his name up there his spelt there you can't really read that um, and that's actually him on it so yeah um, <laughs> he's such a cutie um, but yeah so I, well, they sent me those pictures so that I sent them on to my dad and to Robin um, yeah that's one thing, um, <laughs> my dad's wife, she is, she does, uh, yeah, she's, she's what I call crafty. I don't call myself crafty, okay, so I, but she, I call her crafty. Um, yeah. What she does, what she can do when she sews, knits, all of that, yeah, um, her quilt, her quilting, it's just really cool to see. And she's always doing something. Um, she's got cupboards of wool and poly fill or cushion filler or whatever that poly filler is. She's just, yeah, she's, yeah. Um, and she, yeah, she's a gorgeous, gorgeous lady. So yeah, she, she made that for, for them. That's beautiful. Um, so that's that side of things. And... My youngest boy is currently in <laughs> self-quarantine after going to South Australia. Um, so yeah, he was very lucky. He went across to South Australia for personal reasons. Um, when he was over there, he didn't even know. So we, with WA, we've got pretty good border restrictions. There you go. Yeah, um, we got pretty good builder restrictions and he didn't know, one of the things when you go, when you're coming back, when you go somewhere and you come back, there is a couple of things, You some people can get an exemption where they're able to self-quarantine at home for two weeks and you get people doing police checks and all of that. Uh, and then there, sometimes you don't get the exemption so therefore what you need to do is you actually have to quarantine in a hotel for two weeks at your own cost. He was very fortunate because he went over there not knowing whether he had to self-quarantine, whether he could self-quarantine or what. So he's had to put money aside so that he can, um, you know, <laughs> so that he could afford to self-quarantine, so he could afford to go into the hotel if, he if it was required. Um, yes. Um, so yeah, he was very lucky. He found out while he was away that he could self-quarantine. So he is currently under self-quarantine. Um, <laughs> he's uh, he got all ordered. He got Uber Eats, and um, yeah, he had to get that refunded. He sent pictures to <laughs> do it. Um, yeah, so he's, he's having fun at home for two weeks. He's, he's probably got eight or nine days to go. Um, but yeah, he's already had the knock on his, he's already had what, he's already had one check to make sure he's at home. 
he said, you know, it's really funny. They knock on the door. And he was in the shower. <laughs> and I was standing there for a while, apparently. <laughs> so he's, he's opened up the door. Um, and, yeah, they've had a bit of a chat with him, he said. But they stand, you know, two metres from the door. And it's like, well, that, they have to. It's the protocol. They can't get too close to you. You know that because you're in self-quarantine. Um, he was also talking about the delay from his flight coming over. Um, there was some woman from Melbourne that were, basically she lied on the travel documents and tried to board a flight uh, to Western Australia when she actually wasn't allowed to. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. I asked Dion, I said, do you close to you, close to her? Was she, was she wearing a mask? Goes well. We're all over there wearing masks, and no, we weren't. Clo we oh, yeah, he wasn't close to us, so it's all good. So yeah. Um, and that's about it on the personal front. So now I will go through and have a look at, go through some of the comments, and I will say, um, <clears throat> I think for the kidding up of the Cairo custom, we did the thousand subscriber giveaway in there. So, if you weren't aware of it, well, most of you that watched all the way through my videos are fully aware. What I did on my channel is I did, I've been promising for a while a thousand subscriber giveaway. I eventually got there and it was within, it was actually mentioned in three videos, the competition to how to do it or that it was coming and this is where it was. Um, and to make it fair for you gems that have been with me all the way along, you know, I didn't have it announced as a competition and all of this. And it was really good because what we ended up with is, I think, was 17 individual comments or non-duplicated comments that, that fitted within the criteria of the questions asked, which was absolutely brilliant and everybody that commented I have seen comments before you know so I was actually really really impressed to see who commented yes there were people that commented on that video that didn't um, write down anything that didn't they wrote on there wrote on the comments but it wasn't um, what was what they needed to do to enter the competition so you know there was two people that missed out on going into the competition they made comments but they missed out in the competition because uh, they didn't follow the instructions which means they obviously hadn't um watched the video but yeah i ended up whoops ended up with uh, 17 individual comments and a uh, fee from oz got it but yeah it was really cool to see everybody that commented up it was people that I've, I, I believe I've seen comment on other occasions. So it was really, really cool, really good. Um, it targeted, it went towards people that, and gems that really, really I wanted to, um, to be rewarded. So yeah. Um, so that one, yep. Okay, so we'll go there. I'm not just... Uh, that's an S, just getting this line here. Obviously, I've got a 310 world there. Um, so, yeah, there's some interesting comments in there. I won't talk to them. I've responded to everybody in their comments. I'm just looking for... Um, I'm just looking for, for things that I can really highlight and pull out in the comments. Um, creative mayhem. You need not to do drink coffee when you are watching my videos uh, one of her comments was I said something and she just about spat her coffee out <laughs> haven't you learnt by now <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> um, so yeah that I think that's I did have uh, Jane has gone. I love listening to you dribble and watching you plan because it's inspiring her, which is really cool to see. I really do like that. Um, so, 
Who was it? Who was one? In the, I'm just trying to find it. Mail Monday. In Mail Monday, there was, um, I, I unboxed the jumper and a beanie for jeans for jeans. So uh, in that video, I commented about what it means to me um, and I provided the link. I'm actually going to provide the link for jeans for jeans down below in um, at least this video. I'll probably pop it in a few more, uh, but I will say um, one of my subscribers has, well, obviously donated, so it's a, a very thank you. And I, whoops, sorry, that was my alarm to tell me to wake up from my day sleep. I just need to stop the alarm. There we go. Um, yeah, so I actually managed to thank thank her personally over the, over the live to say, yeah, thank you. Because I get notified when people donate to um, to that page, the dashboard. Um, I will say, yeah, the jumper is warm. The beanie I've been wearing for quite a while. Uh, on my night shifts, that's where I'm wearing it. Um, okay, now... What else did I find? <laughs> Anna Dion. <laughs> Anna turns around and she has went about Bo getting washed. She says it doesn't look like he was he was uh whatever didn't look to me like Bo mine's getting washed. Yeah. I think it's because it wasn't sooking to me because he I don't normally see him look like that. <laughs> um Oh uh, yeah, As, uh, we'll see how he goes next one. Um, what the next he gets bathed in about another just over another week from now. Uh, let's see if he remembers it. <laughs> okay. Good. Yes. Yes. Um, what else? There is comments about people getting planners. Um, in the planner videos, you will see there's a link. Um, and I don't get those, the links with Erin Condren, the planner, Erin Condren planners. I will say I don't get financial out of that. I do get, um, points, which then goes towards me getting, you know, $5 off or $10 off or $25 off, um, some of their products. So it helps me purchase more from them. So that's just as a little um, letting you know that, you know, I don't financially get anything, but I am able to purchase stuff, more stuff for the channel. So which is fantastic. Um, hang on. Can anybody see any more S's before I put this away? There's bound to be another S. Has to be another S. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, um, and it sounds like there's a few people have got noisy dogs. <laughs> oh, when they, when they drink. Um, the envelope stuffing. I'll tell you what, I think I mentioned it at work that I was doing, doing the envelope stuffing, that I was cash only. And the reaction was quite interesting. You know, because I thought it was weird. And then, like, I've got... I look at the fact that I put $70 in my cash envelope for work, right? $70 for work. Now, that was me putting that amount for... Because that was two day shifts, two night shifts in that period of time. Oh, it'll also include one day shift as well, which is next... On, on Wednesday but what that's doing is I put 70 aside for it I still have 20 you know I've looked at my cash envelopes and you know, I've got my running tally on what I've got left over and like I've got 
I think about $160 out of the whatever I put aside in the cash envelopes. I've still got $160 there, you know, and I can't see myself spending much more. I could probably, I think I might need to spend about another 60 um, but yeah, I'm not going to see myself spending much more than what I have already now. Um, fuel was good. <laughs> I have to laugh because fuel was always something that when I got paid I put fuel in the car which means that I always missed the, the cheapest price but because I put money aside for fuel that envelope when I knew I was going to fuel up I put that envelope in the car and fueled up and I got fuel at a absolutely beautiful price um, you know it's just just under a dollar a litre because I had the cash there and it was okay it's not like I've got to fuel up because yeah this is what so that I've now I've got fuel fuel in my car um, but you know like I budgeted to put fifty dollars worth of fuel in my car and I still have ten dollars yeah ten dollars left over so I uh, yeah there's some funds there that are going to be carried that I'm going to be able to carry forward, which is absolutely brilliant, you know. And they, that money being carried forward is going to go to um, debt, which is really cool, which is really good. Uh, what am I doing? Ends. So, yeah, the cash envelopes, is, it, it's a brilliant, it, it's working. Um, I had one little hiccup where... When I did it the first time, I per went to purchase via the cash envelope method, and I found it very hard to hand the money over. <laughs> I really wanted what I what what I brought, but it was like, oh. And then I used my plastic card. I think I've already mentioned it here. But then you know, I got home, and it was like, why? What is the difference between? swiping that plastic card and putting the cash over and it's just harder to spend the cash it is it's true it is harder psychologically it was harder to, to spend the cash so um i think that's probably why i haven't blown as much why i've got the money there is because it's still sitting in envelopes because um yeah it's it's quite surprising um nathan is i think he might he, <laughs> He, he's, I think he's making a snide, few, he's made a few snide comments about it. Um, I don't think, we shouldn't say snide, but he's, he's trying to stir me up because he's turned it around on the last day shift, so, because I've hardly seen him. He turns around and he goes, have you blown your budget yet? <laughs> oh, he's waiting for me to blow my budget. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I've looked at my budget um, and I've done my, I've prepped my budget for my next pay, which is happens on Wednesday, which the video has just been released today. Um, so I put that together. And even since doing that, I've discovered more about um, how I tackle the cash envelope situation um, and how I tackle paying out the debt. So keep an eye out when my next time do I, I do a budget. Um, for how that changes with the the side of the on the side of the debt side of things, because that's uh, yeah, I mean it, it's all a big learning curve, and it's all about where you allocate what you're going to spend where from. So, if you're watching the videos and you see it come up, you'll understand what I mean when I do my September, but my first of September. My first pay in September, which is actually the 2nd of September, um, which is actually one that is eagerly anticipated. Um, <coughs> yeah, bonus time. And it's not just a bonus that we have a job. <laughs> I didn't need all of those. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, the cash envelopes was pretty cool to do. Um, worked so well, so well. 
um, sinking funds though, I think I've got too many in the way of sinking funds, funds so I've gone back and looked at um, the budget mum, Miko. She's, one of the things that she does with her sinking fund, now she adds, she has birthdays all in one pile. Yes, she still adds $5 for this one, $10 for this one, all in the same pay, but she just put lumps it into one pile. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do because it's going to be easier to track that instead of having to track <coughs> um, all of them individually. So that was it for the M's. Um, next symbol, there we go. Stop pouring them out in the tray, I don't need the tray anymore. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, what else? So, yeah, it's, yeah, the cash envelopes is pretty cool. Cool thing to do and I can see it happening and I can see it making a difference and I can see the budgeting making a difference because on the side of budgeting I've so for this pay that we're currently in I've budgeted 300 bucks towards YouTube spending which is um, stickers um, it's specific so stationery that I buy for hit for the for what I'm doing on the budgeting side of things um, it's all the resin stuff you know it's so you know, I budgeted and put aside, you know, I said three hundred dollars for this this fortnight. Um, what did I do that for? Oh, well. um, yeah. So I budgeted three hundred. What part of that? <clears throat> part of that three hundred was also because of the thousand subscriber giveaway, and you know, because I had to allow for the difference between. The, one of the cats and the Cairo I, image, I had to make sure I had a certain amount to cover the cost if somebody decided to go with the Cairo one because the Cairo one is uh, noticeably dearer. Um, yeah. So I've actually, I think Fee, Fee from Oz mentioned she would like the leopard, which is... Um, the less expensive one of the you know one of the less expensive ones so um that gives my budget even more well it's funny i could say it gives me more breathing room but what it also does is i can do two things one is spend it on more stuff for youtube or i can put it towards debt because i didn't end up spending it for youtube in that pay period so you know it's it, it, you know, that's where I'm starting to look at money now. It's really cool to see. You know, you look at money going, yeah, I'm going to, this is going to, I'm going to be able to do this with it. I'm going to be able to do this with it. But even with my first pay, first pay that I budgeted, um, I can already say, well, if I don't spend it, um, this is where it's going to go. Uh, you know, I'm looking at it so differently now. And hang on, I've got to look for the C. I don't know where the C is. <coughs> there it is. And then I'm on to 310 land. Uh, um, but yeah, so now it's like, well, as soon as I order that diamond painting, I know what I've got left over. And I'll be like, right, you know, do I get more diamond paintings? Do I get more resin? Do I do uh, this? Do I do that? So it's really really cool because to, to the point of this morning not knowing which diamond painting would I be purchasing I was like going no I'm not getting anything else for this channel until hang on. which one's straight so I'm just getting the big drill tray but I want to get one that's lace flat I've got one that's crooked um Yeah, so <clears throat> even in that that act of you know, I put money aside, I've allowed enough to cover it, and now it's like, well, I'm not going to need as much. So 
where do I put it? Do I put it towards more stuff in the channel? Or do I put it towards debt? And I know the right spot to put it is to debt. Um, <laughs> see, this is where the budgeting side of me is going, oh, but now that I, I doesn't, it does, now that it's not going towards that, it's still allocated for YouTube, so I can still buy stuff for YouTube. Yeah. It's tough. It's hard. <laughs> but anyway, so from there, that's, the, that's you know, to do that is just a brilliant brilliant way to have things going um plan with fee so my actual planning i will grab my diary because <coughs> i want to share that with you now um oh, i haven't written in who won uh, okay Just going to bring this out. So this is where it's the diary I've had such great time with. Um, so the things that I've talked about, you know, I've managed to excuse the camera, the shadow from the camera here. Um, it's looking really good. I'm getting nice and big. <laughs> I'm getting things done. Um, you know, I was able to go on <clears throat> night shift with my videos edited so I knew I didn't have to come home and try and edit you know first thing in the morning you know stuff that I've uploaded and done um, and today that is today I haven't written anything down but I've got finance Friday that's been recorded edited and uploaded so that's there and it's as you can see there's Chatterday which is tomorrow uh, which I'm recording right now. So yeah, there's um, getting there with the, the planning side of things and a bit of a sneak peek for the plan with fee which will come out on Sunday. Um, yes, I have using my ink pen, my ink dipped pen, my glass tip pen. So yeah, there's one to keep an eye out on. Um, so I've done that one and I've actually recorded that one, So, but I haven't edited it. And we have completely lost focus there. Here we go. How's that? <coughs> okay, and then... <laughs> I love the fact that Kathy gets going, it looks like you're busy. <laughs> um here uh, but it's that, that, that it's actually yeah it's it's making a difference you know I've so things that I've done this week so you've seen me with the Sophie and Toffee um, polyhedral dice being unboxed so I have <coughs> I've done a few steps towards that the actual dice being poured um, but that's something that takes a couple of days because, you know, it's 24 hours for the dice to set because it's um, two-part epoxy resin. Uh, you know, so that's, <clears throat> you know, that's where I've got to get, so today is Friday. Um, I've got to finish it off in the next day. Where's my tweezers? Got to finish it off in the next day so that then I can put the video together. So you know, tonight I've got to do my. I actually have to re-pour a couple of the dice because it didn't. It didn't work due to human error. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just a process where I know I know where I'm at for getting stuff for you guys to see. I will say, smart ass and sass box arrived. So you will see that on Monday. It won't be a, a mini haul of stuff. So I'm going to save the mini haul of stuff in one video. But what has arrived is the Smart Ass and Sass box has arrived. So that's a really interesting box. So keep an eye out for that. I've Obviously I've unboxed it. I haven't put edited the video and put it together yet. So, But that is Monday. 
Um, so, so Sophie and Toffee choose the Toffee Tuesday. It's yeah, just got to do a bit more resin pour. Work at Wednesday. I haven't even thought about what I'm going to do with work at Wednesday next week. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll find something over the weekend for that one. Uh, okay. Um, can't do one straight line there. I've got to do it. Checkerboard. And then, well, Thursday is nothing. And Friday is Finance Friday, which will be... I don't know what that'll be. Oh, that'll probably be envelope stuffing because that'll be after I get paid again. <laughs> and rolling over and closing out. Not closing out my budget, but going through what was budgeted and what was spent for the fortnight. We'll see how that goes. Um, what else is going on? So my mail Monday. <laughs> it's a few people like that pen. Um, a few people that, that seem to have the same taste of things for me. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's quite an interesting pen, that. I love the pen. Um, <laughs> we'll say that it's really funny with that pen. I saw that pen. So this is where the budgeting is, some of the things. I saw that pen while I was on night shift. Saw it somewhere. And then looked further into it but what happened it was really funny what happened was I was sitting at one of the desks well the desk where I not where I work but I was on my break so someone else was logged on the computer and I was talking to them and I was doing some searching on it and she she's ended up with all these feeds all these craft feeds for all these different glass tipped pens <laughs> So when she does comes and t takes over from the board from when I from me, she makes sure that I don't get on the computer while she's logged on because she does she goes I don't need all this craft shit showing up on my feet. <laughs> Mind, um, my team they're 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 brilliant team because you know I do the craft I do the YouTube channel, um, and they all know about it. Um, you know, try and explain to somebody that I put little tiny plastic beads on, on paper. Uh, they don't get it. But then when I get there and show them like pictures of the resin boards, and you know, like I've just done that serving board with the, um, or with the coasters, you know, they're going, oh wow, you know, because they're seeing they are seeing you know what I'm doing they're seeing the crafts I'm sharing it with them and the comments you know for some of the craft stuff I get stirred up about and then other that the other stuff they're, they're impressed with uh, yeah and you know last night I was doing more <laughs> research <laughs> in the channel <laughs> That's what I call it. They, they catch me out. Well, it's not that they catch me out. They go turn around and look at what I'm looking on on YouTube and they're going, what's that? And I said, it's research. <laughs> and then I, I'm onto all the online shops looking and sticking my nose in and going, okay, I can get this. And I, if I do that and rally around, and it's like, yeah, research. I do have some more resin stuff that I have a plan to do. Um... I won't discuss yet because it's well yeah it, it's it's just still working with resin but I need to get some specific stuff to do it and then I have to sweet talk Nathan into helping me out with it um, so I've got to go and do the costings there we go I'm doing it right I'm gonna go and do the costings to try and get the product do what I want to do um, and then I've got to see if he can assist me or uh, he will either assist me or he will do it himself because part of it involves me working with a circular saw 
Yep. Yep. Yes, I said circular saw. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> it's not that bad, Mayhem. I hope you're listening and you weren't drinking coffee when I said that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, it, it's really cool. What I want to do is really cool. So we'll see see if it see if it eventuates. Um, but I've got to make sure that I've got Nathan on board to help me with it, which I actually do believe he will. Um, for what what I want to do. Um, I mean, seriously, he wants to put this bench. He wants to put the top of this bench up on the wall as a piece of art. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's his opinion on the resin now. He he does like the resin stuff. Um, then yeah, the resin board, which is work at Wednesday. I got a, a comments on that one. Now some of the comments I've had is about food safe. Um, when some resin, two part epoxy resin, is actually can sometimes is not food safe. Um, Sophie and Toffee resin, I don't know whether that is food safe, but I use art resin and art resin is food safe. So that's just something as a little, if, if you're interested in working with two part epoxy resin to do something like serving boards or platters or anything like that, um, art resin, theirs is food safe. I, I work with art resin inside my craft room. Uh, I just have my windows open uh, and I do wear the mask. But there's, for the quantity that, of resin that I've worked with, it, it's, not, it's not toxic like a lot of the other UV resin, like a lot of the other two part resins. Um, two part epoxy resin, obviously, there's a chemical reaction when you put the two together. And they do get hot, um, but you don't get the, the toxic or the, the, the fumes that can be harmful. And yeah, it is food safe as well, so which is really, you know, it, it's good. And I wanted to share that because there were some comments coming out about, you know, what's going to make it food safe. And it's like, well, the wooden board section isn't covered anyway. Um, so they're just going to have to oil, continue to oil that like you would for a board like that. And um, the resin itself is, yeah, it's food safe, so which is really cool. Um, and then I think, I think that's about it. We've got a, um, someone did congratulate Fee on the, um, on the winning the prize. And I think that's it. That's all the comments. Um... All the comments from everybody, Kathy's <laughs> one or two comments from Kathy on just about every video, which is it makes me smile. Um, <laughs> she's got there. Um, she, she went shopping this morning, so as I discovered in the live, she was going shopping. <laughs> um, yeah, she's gone shopping, and then she just talked about the um, bank account. So yeah, um, I think that I think that's about covers it. I haven't added any videos to this little chat. Um, oh well, wow. oh, and I've only gone like I haven't paused the video at any stage. I've only gone for fifty minutes. That's nice and short. What else? Oh, I didn't fig mention um, Bonanza Marketplace that I've seen on Instagram. I. The, the, that one has arrived and I have unboxed it. So you will see that in, I suppose, a mail Monday. Um, if I can't get anything, uh, what I will do is if I can't, if there's a time where I have uh, like a work at Wednesday or <clears throat> something like that and I'm not able to do a video for it, I will do a whip and chat in its place. Um, but if I can't do like a work work at Wednesday I might put in the unboxing for something uh, you know like one of the bigger unboxings for um, 
like the Bonanza one. Cause yeah, that one that one's not too bad. That didn't come too bad, and it wasn't like there was nothing happening. Um, you know, you see some some companies that they advertise, and you don't know whether you, you should buy from them or not because you've never heard from them, and it's just appeared in your feed. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm gonna finish here and uh, go and edit this and upload it, and so that you can see this uh, tomorrow for Chatterday. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, on that note down below, uh, actually no, not down below, um, working with Geisha, so I'll just bring you back out, and that's all I've got left to do with Geisha, so she's nearly done, 135 centimetres of her, and I have got 16 centimetres, or about six and a half inches there. Um, left to go on that and ah oh, this I will show you this I've been using ever moment tubes so let's see if I can get this over squeeze the jumper down so you don't see my tracking decks I use ever moment tubes over the edge to give me an extra little bit of a smooth roll uh, pretty neat creative tubes they do exactly the same thing. So that um, just hooks under. But that's the full roll I've cut it in. So that's just something that I do so that when I'm working on my large canvases, I'm not crushing them or bending them. They just roll around. I thought I'd share that with you. And back we go. So gems, comments, let me know what you think of anything that's on my channel. Um, what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, yeah, well, feedback is always good, but I was actually very surprised to see you know so many people liking it. Um, you know, so far people seem to be liking it. So yeah, I think I might leave that there. Um, I don't think there's much more to say except uh, I need to go and have a coffee. It's two o'clock Friday afternoon. I've had probably about four hours sleep, I think, after night shift. So I've got to go and have a coffee and get myself back to functioning level and back to normal day routine. Um, so yeah, if you're new to my channel and you've managed to last this long, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button and become one of the wonderful gems of this community that we have going here. Um, yeah, and uh, obviously once you've uh, subscribed hit the bell so you're notified when I do an upload. I am doing the interesting tasks of five videos a week. So we go from Monday, Mail Monday, Toffee Tuesday, Work at Wednesday, Finance Friday, Sunday Chatterday, and then Sunday, which is my planning for the next week. So, um, yeah, there's quite a bit going on, covers a few different genres, and um, come and join in on the fun and the journey and see <laughs> how I go with my budget. It's the budget that I'm most fascinated with at the moment. So, um, the planning has made a big difference to a lot of stuff. Um, I don't feel like I'm running around like a headless chook um, and the budgeting we're all let's see how that goes <laughs> so Jen's almost leave it there and say bye for now